Uh, it comes on so far. That's not what it was doing when I left it though. Yeah, let's take a look at a few things. All right, unless you're really hardcore into watching my channel, you probably won't recognize this computer and that's okay. I built this for Amy a couple years ago. We've done a little bit of playing around with it, including changing out a video card at one point because she wasn't using as much power as she needed to. Originally, I just let her borrow the video card because she needed two monitors. Uh, we're not even sure what, what the actual need is yet. But one of the things we're probably going to do is this has a 3200G in it. We're going to swap it out for something a little bit more powerful. She still doesn't use it enough to need a video card except for the processing on the process on the the CPU or the processor itself so we'll probably go with like a 4600G or maybe I'll or order a 5600G or something like that I don't know um, it's got 16 gig of RAM it's got a 500 gig SSD a 2 terabyte HDD a few other things a little bit of you know a little bit of flavor a little bit of accent a little bit of light um, but yeah I'm gonna take a look at it one of the things I am concerned about is and you can't really see it from here but uh, there's a lot of screws missing I mean, as, as and a lot of screws, I mean, by there's only two holding it in. So, uh, I'm going to have to address that fact. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to plug it in, see what it's running, see what needs to be updated, and we'll, we'll go from there. So, there were some developments with Amy's computer along the way. Uh, in addition to missing some of the screws, none of the RGB worked. Some of the programs that were supposed to be controlling the RGB were completely missing and taken off of her system. And that's not the way I left it when, when I set everything up for. The video card being used is an RX 560, four gig. Uh, not very powerful. I was not going to leave that in the machine. I was just gonna go ahead and upgrade it to a 4600G, which should have worked fine. Except for she decided that uh, she was gonna do some, she wanted to do some light gaming and I opted to go ahead and leave that in there. So we're, we're going to go ahead. I'm running, I have run, did run some tests with the 3200G, which is a four core, four thread, and then the 4600G, which actually came out of Nate and Nessa's old pre-built HP. Um, put that in there, updated the BIOS, put that in, and it ran okay, but I figured if she was going to play some games that maybe I would give her at least a fighter's chance of playing something besides just solitaire or, or, or a few th things like that. So we opted to leave the RX 560 in there. Uh, we did go ahead and, well, we, me, I did put screws, all you know, secured the motherboard back together. P part of the problem was not only were there screws missing, but when you moved the case around, uh, you could hear a lot of the screws rattle inside the case. So I don't know what somebody's plans were or what they were thinking, but uh, there were several of the screws that were in the bottom of the case that were just kind of rattling around. Got all that worked out, got all that figured out, went ahead and reinstalled the software to, first of all, fix the Corsair, make sure the fan was lighting up like it was supposed to, made sure that uh, everything on the motherboard, the addressable RGB was working on the motherboard, made sure that the RAM itself, which was 8 gig by the way, 8 gig running at 3000 uh, transfers, uh, mega transfers per second, uh, made sure that was all running fine, and just to make sure that everything was buttoned up, and this would be, I don't want to say foolproof, but at least not give her any issues if she wanted to go ahead and start downloading some things or, or maybe uh, not necessarily first person shooters, but you know, some light gaming or some, some games that she might find on Steam or Epic Game Store, which we also set her up with. Um, so we went just basically, uh, it wasn't really in bad shape, not really dusty or anything like that, but we had to put a couple of things right that weren't working properly and definitely not the way that I left it with her the first time, but I think she was very satisfied with it this time. So I'm not, I'm not sure what the actual lesson in this is. She didn't use the computer very much at all. She did when she had a bookkeeping business. Um, she didn't after that ended and she went on to something else completely, but she does want to start using it again. And this was the first time in like a year and a half or two years that she had actually started, you know, turning it on and being interested. And of course there's, issues and problems so uh, I had her bring it down uh, we got everything situated for her, got everything set up uh, now it's running with that Ryzen 5 6 cores and 12 threads 4600 G theoretically you could run off the graphics with that but we went ahead and left the RX 560 in there which is a little bit better 
So she should get a little bit better performance if she decides to play some games, I don't know, Fortnite or whatever. Maybe your son's over and wants to play Fortnite. You know, some simple nut, not necessarily something like Cyberpunk. But you know what? There's a lot of games out there that that 560 will handle. Uh, and some games that she's discovering she might want to play. One screen, that's all she's going to be using. But theoretically, we probably could set it up so she could use two monitors. But I don't think that's going to be necessary. The main thing is we got everything working. We got everything functioning up to date. Windows completely up to date. All the software and the lights and all that stuff is all updated. So it's ready to go. All she's got to do is go back home, plug it in, set it up, and just use it whatever she's going to use it for. Whether it's games or social media or checking her email or starting another business, she should be just fine. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of a trip down, I don't want to say memory lane, but a little bit of a revisit to a computer that I set up for her in the beginning that we thought was going to be more than she needed. And it turns out, after a while, she couldn't even use what she needed it for <laughs> because uh, there had been other things involved. But anyway, we got her squared away. She's good to go, and now she ought to be happy, and this computer ought to be good for at least, I don't know, if she starts gaming heavily or using uh, more demanding games, we might have to upgrade uh, at least that video card in three or four months or something. But for the time being, it's going to run her well, and with that 4600G, that Ryzen 5, we should be in good shape for you know the foreseeable future, at least for what she needs it for. So, yeah, that's it. So, uh, yeah, just because I build a computer and, and give it or sell it to somebody doesn't mean that I forget it forever and doesn't mean I don't ever work on it again and doesn't mean that it doesn't have, like, I guess, lifetime tech support. Uh, it's one of those things that I'm always going to, you know, in the back of my mind, it's like, hey, look, your, your computer might need an upgrade or, or might need to be cleaned or work or whatever, and let's check it out. And that was the case here. So, uh, yeah. There it is, in a nutshell. Uh, it was a revisit, and it was pretty fun, and it was good to be able to take a look at the computer again and see how much I've learned since I built that for her a couple years back. Well, I guess now it was probably four or five years ago now. Uh, it was, yeah, it was quite an experience, and it was fun, and I'm glad that I got a chance to see it and make sure that everything is working for her again, uh, working well. So that's it. So if you learned anything from the video, found it helpful, uh, entertaining, uh, anything at all, go ahead and throw a like on the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do subscribe. I know it's been a while since I put out videos. I have, I have no explanation. I have excuses. I don't have explanations. So I'm not going to offer either one of them here. Just going to let you know that I will put out videos as they're ready to be put out. Sometimes they are not ready, including a bunch of those that I got at the yard sale that I've been working on and just don't have enough to... I've got some stuff that I probably could throw a video together on, but that's not really fair to anybody. So I'm not going to do it like that. Anyway, this one's out. This one's live. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, you'll stick with me and we'll figure things out. Uh, if nothing else, you know, I'll, I'll find something else I got no business getting into. But if you're not going to like or subscribe or anything like that, or maybe hit it, the rest of my socials, do me one favor, and that's be good to each other. Do something kind for yourself, for somebody else. Smile, wave, hold the door open. Uh, just, you never know what nice, kind gesture, and they don't cost anything. Kind, being kind is free. You never know when something you do can change somebody's entire day. So that's it for this time. Uh, like I said, there are more things I got no business getting into that I will be getting into. But uh, until next time, that's all I got. So I'll see you later.